back to my second channel. So I've decided that I want to start doing cook with me's and bake with me's as I try to learn how to cook and bake. Now I am vegan, so vegan baking is extra hard. It's no longer like cooking, it is like science. And I've tried making a few things before. Some things have turned out amazing, other things have turned out terrible. So I thought that I would start doing these to help encourage others or really just encourage myself to try and learn how to cook and bake and um, actually make my own food and I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. So today we're going to be doing vegan pumpkin muffins. I thought let's start out nice and simple. This is a pretty easy recipe. I am following Nora Cooks. Again, I'm not claiming this recipe as my own. I'm just learning to follow a recipe basically. Um, so that's what we're gonna be doing. Happy fall season. And first and foremost, let's go grab my new apron that I bought so that I won't get anything on my pretty fall dress. I mean, you have to admit though, the dress is kind of giving Nara Smith um, and her fancy cooking. Oh, I can't. It's an assembly your own type of apron here. So let me just figure this out. Okay. Now, as much as I do think that the bows in my hair add to this look, I also think that these will get in the way while I cook. But until that happens, we're gonna keep them in. Okay, so step one, we need our ingredients. Um, this is what you're gonna need to make one bowl of vegan pumpkin muffins, as per Nora explains. Okay, let's run through it. So you are going to need soy milk, vegan butter, or a neutral vegetable oil, like she says. So I got vegetable oil. The flour, apparently almond flour does not work for this recipe. Now sugar, my grocery store only had dark brown sugar. I don't know what the difference is. I'm hoping it's fun. A can of pumpkin puree. Then you're gonna need some baking soda as well as baking powder. And last but not least, you're gonna need your spices. So you could either do cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, or she said you could use pumpkin pie spice if you had it. I had none of the above, so I just went out and bought pumpkin pie spice. And then this was not in her recipe, but it is in my iteration of it. For icing, I think I'm gonna try the Biscoff cookie spread. I think that this will be delicious on pumpkin pie muffins. So that's what I'm gonna do for an icing. First and foremost, my oven takes a little while to preheat. So I'm gonna do that first. You need to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Essentials, cooking bowls, a whisk, measuring spoons and cups oh also you will need a muffin tin and baking cups i got these really cute ones from home sense for the fall so where cool is that i feel like it's really funny me filming these videos following someone else's recipes because mostly when you watch a cooking creator they're doing their own recipes their own takes on recipes and here I am just following instructions. But mind you, I've done that before and it's turned out horrible. And also the point of this isn't for me to teach you how to be the next best chef, it's for me to get my own butt in the kitchen to try and cook something instead of just going to, a, you know, Uber Eats, let's face it, Uber Eats. Okay, in a large bowl, I need to add my pumpkin, which she says you need 15 ounces. This is only in milliliters. Is there milliliters to ounce? You know what? I'm just gonna assume it's one can. We're gonna assume it's a can. Bad at when it comes to cooking and baking is keeping my station clean. Gordon Ramsay would absolutely kick me off Master Chef immediately just for that. Okay, once we have the pumpkin in, we need to add the butter or the oil, oil, milk, and brown sugar. So we need a third cup of oil, one third oil. So let's do that. Look, 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 look. Pour that in there. So we have a half cup of this. What is that right? Yeah, half cup, okay. 
There we go. If I ever have kiddos, I do want to cook and bake with them, but I don't think I'll ever be Nara Smith level of cooking. I mean, that is just, you have to dedicate your whole life to like cooking like that and learning. And I just don't think I have that in me. I mean, I'm already dripping sweat trying to make these pumpkin muffins. And I'll just put all that in there. The apron is already coming in yet useful. Oh, I'm so excited to have this now. Okay. Now it says instructions. Huh. Instructions we need to whisk until combined and smooth. Third season is fall. I am a classic infinity scarf pumpkin spice latte gal. I, I'm not even gonna hide it. I love it. It is just, it's the best season. Gilmore Girls in the fall, the like kind of cool air, going out for a walk, getting a coffee. It's all just the very best. Sift the flour, baking powder, and spices over the wet mixture. I actually don't have a sifter. Also, I read the recipe wrong and apparently you do not need baking soda, so that's fun. And you need salt instead, but luckily most of us have salt. Um, but I do not have a sifter, so we're gonna just unsift salt. Now, I'm a little mad at myself that I bought all this baking soda and I don't need it, but it's fine. We'll use it for something else. Okay, half teaspoon of salt. I also don't know if I should be using, like this just feels wrong, doesn't it? Sifted, I don't know. Then we need um, one tablespoon, I hear you, one tablespoon of baking powder. So we can open this up and sift it. Again, don't know what that means, but we'll just do it like that. We need three teaspoons of the pumpkin pie mix. Okay, again, that was definitely not true. And then what do we do? We sift it and then mix until, mix into the wet using a large wooden spoon. I don't own a wooden spoon. Options are this silicone spoon that I have, or I have this mini bamboo spoon from a portable, um, like lunch kit box. I feel like this is the right call. I feel, cause it's actually wooden. So I can't say I didn't use a wooden spoon. It's just small. I guess now I'm realizing I should have bought a wooden spoon for this, but the amount of stuff you have to buy to bake and cook when you're first starting out. I mean, I spent $182 last week at the grocery store and half of it was just on all like the spices and nutritional yeast and all that stuff that I needed because I've never had to really use it before. And it's just, it's a bit discouraging, isn't it? Okay, to me that all looks the same color and I don't really want to over mix it. So I'm going to leave it there, hopefully. It's okay. And then we have to fold in, just fold in the cheese, David, just fold it in. You know where that's from. Fold in any optional ingredients and fill the muffin cups full. Bake for 22 to 25 minutes and then use a toothpick in the middle, come out clean. Okay, so I don't have any optional ingredients. Um, don't know what those would be, my love Nora, don't know. So we're going to now do the muffins. So he said, said that even if you are using muffin cups, you wanna make sure that you're lightly greasing them as well so that the muffins don't stick. So I trust him, we're gonna do that. Which ones do we like better? Do we like the polka dotted or the classic orange? I'm just realizing that's not a well, I'm gonna do it anyways, <laughs> and we're gonna see what happens. So we're gonna do kind of one after the other here. No, this just feels wrong, okay. Um, you're just gonna use your vegetable oil and a paper towel. Um, this is, I would normally use vegan butter for this, so hopefully this will be fine. I mean, it should be. I'm gonna pour this in and it says fill it till it's full, which 
does make me nervous, but okay. So, like so, and that we'll just do, okay, a little bit more. We'll do it there. Okay, now you wanna make sure you're filling each tin evenly so that they cook evenly, that's what I've heard. But as I'm doing this, I'm realizing I'm not gonna have enough to fill the whole tin. So I might have to kind of turn it maybe halfway through or a big clump in there, that seems bad. That seems like that one's actually not good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take my little wooden spoon there and mix this one in here because there were clumps in there. Nora is definitely, this is not on her instruction book, but. And now we're gonna pop these in the oven for the 22 to 25 minutes. Now in this time, it also seems good to clean up. And the best part about all of this guys is that I'm only doing this at, what is it? It's like 2, 2.18 PM. So if this fails, we can go to the grocery store and we can pick up other vegan muffins. But hey, props for us for trying, right? I forgot the flour. I forgot. So to the grocery store we go because I forgot the freaking flour. Oh my gosh. <sighs> really frustrated at myself because I bought all those ingredients to make these muffins and I was really excited about them and I just wasted all of that. How do you even forget flour? That's the main thing. It's sitting right here. It's the main thing. Well, that was very unsuccessful and Nora, I'm very sorry to let you down. Um, I'm gonna leave it there though because I am I just need a just need a minute to kind of um, come to terms with the fact that I just did that little bit disappointed in myself by a little bit. I mean I'm pretty disappointed in myself. Okay, well I'm going to uh, end the video here and I'm gonna go to the grocery store and get some muffins for this cafe video I have to film for my ASMR channel. But I hope you all enjoyed this uh, cooking fail, and I'll get him, get him next time, Tiger. Okay, I love you all so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, so your girl remember to flour this time, although I do think that I may have undercooked them. Not because I didn't listen to the time instructions, I did, and I did for the longer time amount, but because my oven just isn't very good. But nonetheless, I didn't want to overcook them, so let's try it. And I put them in the cute little muffin cups. Okay, ready? Oh my god. Oh my god, I did it. <laughs> it's like spongy and moist and it's pumpkin-y. I, guys, I baked something. It's so yummy and look at how cute it looks in the little, in the little cups. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of it. And it matches my nails. I think that it would be really good with the Biscoff spread, but I don't feel like having the frosting right now, to be honest. It's a win. It's a win, I did it, yay!